was uh, born in this uh, little town in uh, St. Thomas, Jamaica, at a very small uh, type of a farm and plantation type, uh, type home. Uh, I was born in what they call uh, a, a tin shack, and, uh, and I was raised in by my grandmother. So uh, earlier on, uh, my, my mom had about uh, five kids, and, uh, uh, and three of us uh, at the time was living with her, my older sister, a younger brother, and myself. Uh, I was told the story. We were in this house for at least three days on our own. But there's this guy rode right, riding by on his bicycle. And he heard my sister and me and my brother crying. And he, he st stopped by to ask what, what's going on. And uh, my older sister told him that uh, my mom left us. Uh, we're all hungry. We have nothing to eat. And it turned out we're there for three days with no food. And my mom was gone. And, uh, and this man went to the field where my grandmother was working in a banana plantation and told my grandmother that uh, your grandkids are by themselves in this house and she came to get us. That's what, how I remember living with her, uh, with my grandmother. I remember my grandmother and we grew up calling her mama and, uh, and she was this incredibly industrious person who just uh, sacrificed her entire life. And she was 60 years old when I, when I moved in, uh, when she took us to live with her. And um, when I was 11 years old, for some reason, my mom just came and said, hey, I, you know, you, uh, you you, you, you need to come live with me in the city. I went to live with, uh, with my mom in the city and, uh, and it, was a, it was a crazy time because I didn't really know this person and uh, she was incredibly abusive. At 13 years old, she packed my bags and threw me out. And um, I lived at the mercy of kids that I knew that I went to school with and um, friends that I knew from the neighborhood. I decided to stay at their house. And uh, at uh, 15 years old, one of my uh, friends in school, uh, he was living with a foster family and he asked the foster family if I could live with them. And uh, I moved into that, uh, that foster family's home uh, when, I was, uh, when I was 15. And uh, I lived there for a year. And while I was living there, I got in touch with my dad somehow. And uh, my dad said, I want you to come to Canada to, uh, to live with me. So when I came here at, uh, 15, at 16, I met him for the first time. Uh, he was married. He had four other kids. And my dad was calling all the shots and telling me what, what I could do, what I could do, and how I could do it. It was foreign to me. At 18 years old, I just packed my bags and I left and I didn't tell him I was leaving. I just, I just left the house. So I finished high school. So I started to decide that I got to get into the workforce. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was doing all kinds of different jobs.